Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Stay tuned to see how I achieve this sexy, casual, chic, daytime look for Valentine's Day. To begin, I'm beginning with my eyebrows. Use the e.l.f. Cosmetic Brow Kit in Medium to fill in my eyebrows. And I'm just going back over with the spoolie brush to get rid of the harshness of the gel and to make it look more natural. So I'm brushing the gel portion in between my real hairs to give it a more natural look. In order to set the gel, I'm using the powder. Now onto the face. I'm using Maybelline's Dream Fresh BB Cream in Deep Sheer. I put it on the back of my hand in order to warm up the product and then I'm just placing small dots on my face and I'm blending that with my hand. And back to the eyebrows, I'm using LA Girls Pro Concealer and Warm Honey in order to highlight my eyebrows. This step is not necessary, but it's just give your eyebrows a little something extra. And take that and I blend that with my finger. For my eye eyelids, the eyes, I'm using in NYX Cosmetics Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And I'm using this as the base in order to ensure that the eyeshadow sticks and give it and makes the color comes out more. All over, I'm using Black Radiance Bake Bronzer and Caramel all over my eyelid. Now I'm going in with this berry palette that I purchased from TJ Maxx. I'm using the darkest brown and that's going to be used in my crease color. And I'm using Elf's Cosmetics Crease Brush. And I start on the outer portion and I blend inward making small circular motions. For the lower lid, I'm using this beautiful peach shimmery color and I'm just blotting that on the lower lid portion. Now, in order to blend it so I won't have the harsh lines, I'm using a blender brush and the lightest shade of brown right above the crease to get rid of those harsh lines. For the outer V portion and to give my eyes a little bit more depth, I'm using the black and I'm just doing the outer V portion of my eyes. Now 
making sure to only go halfway up my lid, not to interfere with the lid. Now I'm going back again with that light brown color and blending that and dragging it underneath my lower waterline. For my highlight, I'm using LA Girls Pro Concealer in Toffee and in Warm Honey. I'm putting that on the back of my hand to warm up using the foundation brush from e.l.f. And I'm applying that underneath my eyes in a triangular, triangle down the, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and my forehead. Taking my Beauty Blender brush, I'm going to blend, blend, blend. Now back to the eyes while that's set, I'm using a basic black eyeliner pencil that came with the eyeshadow palette and just eye, and putting the eyeliner on my lower lid. With this light peach color, I'm going to put that in the inner corner of my eyes just to give it a little pop and to wake up the eye. Starting with the contour, I'm using Maybelline's 360 Pressed Powder in Mocha. So I'm, I'm contouring right underneath my cheekbone and my chin bone. Going back in with the Beauty Bender Blush. And now I'm contouring my nose. Just a little. This step is completely optional. I'm going to blend the rest of the highlight and I'm going to apply Wet n Wild's Cover All Press Powder in Deep Tint in order to set my highlight. I know I look crazy, but we're going to blend to the guys. Back to my eyes, I don't really wear falsies. My eyelashes to me are naturally long. So I just take an eyelash curler and curl them first before I apply any mascara. And the mascara that I'm going to be using is Great Lash, Lots of Lashes, and Very Black. And I'm just going to apply several coats in order to get it thick and full like I want them. making sure to do the top and lower lash. Taking the Beauty Blender sponge, I'm pressing in the highlight powder to ensure that it's blended in well. And I'm just taking a regular blush brush and I'm dusting the excess powder off my face. For my all over I'm using a mom in deep. I'm sorry I had this for so long it's um I can't see it but it will be in the description box. So I'm just using that to cover my whole face. For my blush, I'm using Wet n Wild's Berry Shimmer.
And to give my face a fresh glow, I'm going to add Black Radiance Artesian Baked Bronzer in Rum Spice. And I'm just using that right on the top of my cheeks, right above the blush, on top of my forehead, and on my chin. For the lips, I use LA Girls Brown Lip Liner. And I'm using City Girl and No Cocoa for my lips. To set my makeup. Now on to the hair. This is an old twist out that I had in my head for maybe a, a week or so. I'm just freshen up the part. Going to apply my special oil blend, rub it all over my hands, and apply it to my hair. Take a spray bottle, spray it on the edges or the hairline of my hair. Using Eco Styler Gel, I'm going to apply that to the edges and to the back of my hair. Now I begin twisting all the way to the back midsection. You want to create um, a waterfall effect to your hair that's curled to the side and you place bobby pins to secure. Using Lot of Body's edge control to slick down those edges and to give it a sleek look. Apply your scarf to make sure that the curls won't revert. And begin taking down the rods. Now it's coming together and I'm just going to shape it and how I like it. Add additional body pins. Oops, I left the rod in. To give my hair a little bit of extra volume, take a pick and fluff. On the sides, a little curly cue with the gel. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Remember, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, comment, and share. To follow me on other social media, I'm on Facebook at Kinky to the Core, Instagram at Kinky to the Core, and my personal Instagram at 1026. Check out my blog and my store where t-shirts are now for sale at Kinky to the Core.